In the sun-scorched landscape of South Texas, a new titan of spaceflight is taking shape, Starship V3. This is more than just a bigger rocket, it's a fundamental shift in what's possible for space exploration. V3 is designed to move beyond suborbital hops, aiming for operational orbital class missions with reliability and cost effectiveness that could change the economics of space for generations. This rocket is not just an upgrade, it's a revolution in space technology. NASA is betting on V3 for its Artemis lunar missions, while SpaceX plans to use it for next-gen Starlink satellites, and ultimately, Mars. The vision is grand, aiming to make interplanetary travel a reality. The transition from V2 to V3 marks a pivot from experimental development to demonstrating core promises. It's a leap from testing to proving that these ambitious goals are achievable. V3 stretches to an imposing 124 meters, making it one of the tallest rockets ever built. But the real changes are inside stronger, lighter structures, larger propellant tanks, and advanced avionics systems. And at the heart of it all is the powerful Raptor 3 engine, a marvel of engineering designed for efficiency and power. These upgrades are essential for boosting payload capacity to make Moon and Mars missions feasible. The ability to carry heavier payloads opens up new possibilities for scientific research and commercial ventures. The success or failure of V3 will send shockwaves through the aerospace industry, validating or challenging SpaceX's rapid, hardware-rich approach. The stakes are incredibly high. As of October 2025, anticipation and skepticism fill the air at Starbase. The world watches closely, waiting to see if SpaceX can deliver on its promises. SpaceX's aggressive deadlines drive relentless progress, but the path to launch is filled with technical and logistical hurdles. Each step forward is a testament to human ingenuity and determination. The journey of Starship V3 is a high-stakes drama about ambition, engineering, and the unforgiving nature of rocket science. It's a story of dreams, challenges, and the relentless pursuit of the stars. SpaceX has set its sights on an ambitious milestone, the inaugural flight of Starship V3, targeted for the end of 2025. This marks a pivotal moment in the company's relentless pursuit of next-generation spaceflight, as engineers and teams work around the clock to bring this vision to life. This will be Flight 12 in the Starship Test Program, a series of increasingly complex missions designed to push the boundaries of what's possible in rocketry. For this crucial mission, Super Heavy Booster 18 will be paired with Starship Upper Stage 39. Together, they aim to finally achieve Earth orbit a feat that has eluded the program through 10 previous, often dramatic attempts. A successful flight would not only validate the new V3 design, but also provide a major confidence boost for both SpaceX and NASA, who are closely watching every development. The plan is for Booster 18 to attempt a soft landing in the Gulf of Mexico, while Ship 39 will strive for orbit and then a controlled re-entry, testing critical systems for future missions. Every phase of this mission must work flawlessly, yet the end-of-year target is widely seen as highly optimistic, given the immense technical challenges ahead. As of October, much of the hardware remains unassembled, and the final stacking of the rocket has yet to begin, adding pressure to an already tight schedule. Essential tests, like cryogenic proofing and static fires, still lie ahead. Each one is a potential bottleneck leaving little room for error or delay as the clock ticks down. The countdown to Flight 12 is more than just a race to launch. It's a race against a calendar that's slipping away, and the world is watching to see if SpaceX can deliver on its bold promise. Ship 39, the upper stage for V3's first flight, remains unstacked as of today. Stacking and outfitting the vehicle with wiring, plumbing, and heat shield tiles is a time-consuming process. Ground support infrastructure at Starbase is also being rebuilt after a major incident damaged the test area. SpaceX is building a new rocket while simultaneously reconstructing the tools needed to test it. The launch pad is being modified for V3's size and power, with ongoing upgrades to water deluge and propellant systems. Given these realities, a December 2025 launch is unlikely. Early to mid-2026 is more realistic. The unstacked sections and ongoing construction are constant reminders that ambition must contend with practical engineering. At the heart of V3's promise is the new Raptor 3 engine, more robust, powerful, and cheaper to produce. But ramping up production is a monumental challenge, and the current rate lags behind what's needed for V3's debut and future flights. 
A full Starship stack needs 39 engines, and delays in engine production directly impact the launch timeline. Integration of these complex engines is a critical path in assembly. Meanwhile, Starbase's second orbital launch tower, Pad 2, is still being outfitted with essential machinery. Without Pad 2, rapid launch cadence for Artemis and Starlink is impossible. Even if Flight 12 launches in early 2026, a single pad will constrain operations. Pad 2's completion is as crucial as the rocket itself for meeting future commitments. Delays in the development and launch schedule of Starship V3 ripple out across the entire space industry, most notably impacting NASA's ambitious Artemis III lunar landing plans, which depend on Starship's readiness. NASA's Human Landing System, a heavily modified Starship designed to ferry astronauts to the lunar surface, is central to Artemis, but every V3 delay pushes the Twanasu-27 target further out, making the timeline increasingly uncertain. The Aerospace Safety Advisory Panel has warned that Starship HLS could be years late, threatening not just a single mission, but the entire Artemis program's timeline and momentum. To land on the moon, Starship HLS must be refueled in orbit by a coordinated fleet of tanker starships, a capability that's impossible without a reliable V3 fleet and robust multi-pad launch infrastructure, both of which are still in progress. NASA has no backup lunar lander in place. If Starship isn't ready, Artemis unravels. Delays cascade through the program, affecting not just the lander, but lunar spacesuits, surface hardware, and other mission elements tied to Starship's schedule. Beyond the moon, V3 delays also push back SpaceX's long-term Mars ambitions, which originally targeted 2028-2029 for the first cargo missions to the Red Planet, but now seem increasingly distant. Starship must be proven, reliable, and flying regularly before it can be trusted for Mars, or for any mission that pushes the boundaries of human spaceflight. The dream of a city on Mars remains alive, but immediate technical and logistical hurdles mean that Horizon is receding, at least for now. For the foreseeable future, the focus is on getting Starship V3 off the ground, operational, and ready to support humanity's next giant leap. The biggest technical challenge for Starship's lunar and Martian ambitions is on-orbit propellant transfer. Starship HLS can't carry enough fuel for a round trip to the moon. It must be refueled in low Earth orbit by tanker starships. This has never been done at scale. Transferring hundreds of tons of cryogenic liquids in microgravity is a new frontier. SpaceX must develop tech to settle, transfer, and store propellants efficiently in space. The first on-orbit transfer tests are planned for 2026, a pivotal moment for the program. Success would unlock Starship's full potential, failure would threaten the entire Artemis plan. NASA's safety panel highlights this as a primary risk. Before astronauts land on the moon, SpaceX must prove it can run a cryogenic petrol station in space. The focus on whether V3 flies in late 2025 or 2026 can obscure the bigger picture. The first V3 launch, whenever it happens, marks a turning point for SpaceX and human spaceflight. It's the moment Starship moves from experiment to operational reality. Success would validate SpaceX's rapid, iterative approach and accelerate Artemis and Mars ambitions. Even failure would provide invaluable data, moving the program forward. The goal isn't a perfect first flight, but a robust final system. The exact date is secondary. The first V3 flight signals the start of a new era. The countdown to a new age of human space exploration has truly begun.